doctors are supposed to treat, admit or discharge 95% of emergency patients within four hours. It's called your credit score. The government was concerned that too many patients were ending up back on the ward soon after being discharged. Their suspicion was that doctors were sending them home too early. We wanted to know what that could mean for staff and patients. So we spent 24 hours at my local A&E here in York. Last year, another new target came in. This one was designed to get patients off ambulance trolleys and into hospitals quickly. If that process takes longer than 30 minutes, the hospital should be fined £200. For many of us, credit isn't a luxury, it's a necessity to pay for things that you can't afford in one big lump sum. But there will be times when you just cannot wait a full month to get an up-to-date credit report. What happens then? Well, you may just miss out on something you've really set your heart on. Information we've seen on people's credit reports is that you don't get to see your potential alias. But York Hospital's chief executive says in his area, he's not seen any evidence so far that the money has been spent on schemes to keep patients away from his hospitals. The idea of the penalty is that the, that the penalty is then reinvested in those alternative services. But the CCGs we work with have inherited a financial deficit. It's incredibly difficult and the CCGs simply have almost no room to manoeuvre in terms of making that alternative provision available. The hospital is being penalised for a readmission that has arisen as a result of a failure to provide alternative services. And that is very much a double whammy. Mm. Paul White turned to Experian when he had a problem getting a little help from his bank. Well, basically, I went to the bank and asked for an overdraft because I'd recently had money come out of my bank uh, and there wasn't money in to cover it. And when I applied for it, basically they said that I couldn't have it because I had a bad credit score. What did you do after that? I hunted around on the internet and I found Experian's website. I went on there and I found their CCG of more than £50,000 on my credit report. With me. Okay. This chap, just so you're aware, found unconscious, went into respiratory arrest. Um, now... There are some seriously ill people here, and more keep arriving. 8 p.m. and nursing staff hand over to the night shift. If too many patients breach the four-hour wait limit, the hospital faces fines. This gentleman was hit by a car. The hospital is still short of beds, so some patients are stuck here in A&E. And that's it. Have a fabulous night. Can I ask you a question? You can. What are the red times about? 23, 30. These times, yeah. The 19, 20, yeah. They're the breach times. OK, so he's already gone. Yes. OK, and you've got another one who's just... He's about to go, oh. yes. But is there anything you can do about that when half the hospital's closed because of norovirus and no. how do you get them out? No beds. If, there's, if they're coming in and there's no beds, there's nowhere for them to go. And then the ambulances keep turning up and at that door there. the ambulances keep turning up. Moving some off to make a male bay. It's frustrating for us and it's frustrating for the patient as well. It's always at the forefront of your mind, a patient's breach time. And that could mean financial punishments mm. for the hospital. Yep. But if we've got nowhere for them to go, we bottleneck yeah. and everybody backs up, so there's nothing we can do about it. But should you even be thinking about the four hour wait time as a nurse? <laughs> Are you want my honest opinion? Of course. <laughs> For me, as a nurse, patient care comes first. No matter whether it's one hour, two hours, four hours, six hours. Absolutely.